we've added new features to the AudioScan software for our 2024.1 software release. Today, we're going to cover what's new for Verifit 2, Axiom, and the AudioScan NOAA module. As always, the no charge software update is available for download at audioscan.com. Software updates are also available via the AudioScan NOAA module by selecting settings and clicking check now for updates. Also note that a check mark beside check for updates on startup means that you will be notified when new software versions for your AudioScan equipment and NOAA module are available. If an update is found, you will be prompted to select download and then install the software. So, what's new in 2024.1? New features include Probe Guide Auto Stop, DSL BCD 2.0 for Verifit 2, video recording, improved networking, and additional language support. Probe Guide Auto Stop. To simplify probe tube placement and free up the clinician's hands, Probe Guide can now be set to Auto Stop. Once Probe Guide determines the probe tube is within 5 mm of the eardrum, the tool will stop without the need to use a mouse. By default, the auto stop is checked. Simply uncheck the box if you prefer to manually stop probe guide by clicking the stop button. DSL BCD 2.0. DSL BCD 2.0 prescriptive targets for bone conduction device verification using the skull simulator enables greater accuracy for soft band fitted BCDs and provides the flexibility to use standard bone oscillator audiometric thresholds when in situ thresholds cannot be measured via the bone conduction device and the hearing aid fitting software. This is made possible by a new skin transmission loss correction for children and adults. To access SpeechMap for verifying bone conduction devices using the VeriFit Skull Simulator, go to the Hearing Instrument menu and select BCD. This selection was previously labeled BAHD. To set DSL BCD 2.0 prescriptive target parameters and enter audiometric data, select Audiometry. With the addition of DSL BCD 2.0 prescriptive targets, the audiometry menu in Verifit 2 speech map now has the following selections targets, age, device, connection, transducer, and binaural. Binaural is a summation factor which is only applicable to adult prescriptive targets, and it's the same as air conduction. DSL BCD 2.0 target selections include adult, child, adult noise, and child noise. Noise targets are meant to provide listening comfort in louder situations and are not expected to improve speech recognition and noise, and none is available for instances where targets are not desired and the fitting is performed based on the patient's auditory range only. Age sets the skin transmission loss correction based on the patient's age. Select age from 1 to 60 months, 6 to 10 years, and adult. Device sets the bone conduction device that the patient is fit with. Select various Baja and Ponto hearing devices to set DSL BCD 2.0 prescriptive targets based on the device's amplification characteristics, or select the newly added unlisted average option for instances where a device is not on the list or average device transforms are required. Connection sets a bone conduction device coupling connection for the patient. For Baja connection, select Baja Connect for abutment connected devices or select Baja Sound Arc or Baja Softband. For Ponto connections, select Abutment for abutment connected devices or select Softband. Transducer sets how hearing thresholds were measured. In situ is available for any connection type and uses hearing thresholds measured with the bone conduction device on the patient via peer tones produced by the bone conduction device and controlled from the hearing aid software. HLBC options are for softband and sound arc fittings, where in situ thresholds cannot be measured, and hearing thresholds are bone oscillator DBHL. All HLBC and ABRBC transducer selections apply a skin transmission loss prescriptive target correction based on the patient's age. Please note that Baja Connect is Cochlear's proprietary name for their abutment connection, where Oticon Medical uses the generic term abutment. Both Baja Connect and Abutment require in-situ dial-level hearing thresholds for DSL BCD 2.0 prescriptive target generation. As such, only the in-situ BC transducer is available when Baja Connect or Abutment is selected. Video recording. Video recording the Verifit 2 or Axiom is a simple way to help with creating training and reference material for teaching students and clinicians. 
When the AudioScan NOAA module is connected to your VeriFit 2 or Axiom, video recording of your VeriFit 2 or Axiom screen is accessed by selecting Remote Console. Once Remote Console is open and showing the VeriFit 2 or Axiom screen, select File, Screen Recording, and Start. Select Save when the File Explorer pops up and the recording will save to the specified folder named according to the date and time. Once you've finished recording video, select Stop within Screen Recording or use the F8 key to complete the recording. Improved networking. We've added IPv6 support, which is an update to the IPv4 internet protocol with several enhancements. In addition, network address entry for manual static network addresses has been simplified, and hostname use instead of IP address is compatible with substantially more network configurations due to multicast DNS. IPv6 has automated configuration benefits, enhancements to security and administration, and greater flexibility compared to IPv4. Large institutions such as hospitals, the value security and ease of configuration are the most likely to utilize IPv6. This inclusion future-proofs AudioScan products to ensure ongoing network compatibility. IPv6 connections can be configured with an automatic DHCP connection, a manual static IP address connection, or a stateless connection. In addition, a direct single cable link local connection is also available, which will be utilized when available. Once connected via IPv6, the address provided will be a series of letters and numbers with additional characters relative to an IPv4 address. When an IP address is manually configured as a static address on the network, entry is now via an entry pad to simplify inputting network address details. The entry pad is available for IPv4 and IPv6 network address entry. To identify whether a network connection is active or not, an icon on the home menu shows whether the network is connected or is not connected. Hovering the mouse over the icon will display a tooltip that indicates whether the connection is wired or wireless and the network address information. Hostname is great to simplify address entry. Using hostname is especially helpful when the IP address changes because the network is not configured to provide a fixed IP address to the VeriFit 2 or Axiom. Using hostname will result in a connection even if the IP address changes to another address on the network. This function is also helpful to avoid entering the several characters in an IPv6 address. Additional language support. To improve the accessibility and ease of use of using a VeriFit 2 or Axiom along with the AudioScan NOAA module, the language support in the AudioScan NOAA module has expanded in the latest software release. Language selection in the AudioScan NOAA module is found within Settings. The same seven languages available on the VeriFit 2 and Axiom are available, now with the addition of Japanese, simplified Chinese, and Portuguese to the previously available English, French, German, and Spanish options. On the VeriFit 2 or Axiom, the language can be changed and set up by selecting Devices, Display, and choosing the desired language. In addition, the VeriFit 2 user guide is fully translated to Japanese in PDF format, as well as in the help that can be accessed in the VeriFit 2 software. Thank you for taking the time today to look at these new features. Full instructions are available in the updated user guides. For more information, please visit the AudioScan library, our YouTube channel, our Audiology Online page, the AudioScan LinkedIn, or feel free to contact us by email.